What's up, everybody? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. Happy Easter, everybody. I know that n not a lot of people celebrate Easter, and I'm not really one of those people that really celebrate Easter. I used to celebrate Easter by going to my Grandma Polly's almost every year when I was growing up. And once my grandma passed away, we just stopped celebrating Easter. My Grandma Polly was basically the person that kept the whole family together. And ever since she's passed away, Barely any of my family talks to each other or even gets together anymore. This Easter, I think Kathy is actually wanting to do something for Easter. Jen's going to be making the turkey, well trying to make the turkey until her mom gets here. We have a little surprise. Well, we actually woke up to the surprise as well. I would have started recording it right then and there, but I was still currently editing and I just woke up. We have Easter babies. Oreo just had babies. She had two. And she just got done having another one. So right now she has three babies. I'm going to end up showing you guys the babies as best as I possibly can. She's excited to show me her babies, but she's also kind of aggressive. I guess it's just like a motherly thing that she's kind of like in a bad mood. I'm going to show you guys her babies right now. I'm using a small tripod right now, and I don't know if I like it like this. I'll try it out. I had to dump out all my clothes, which my clothes is all in a big pile over here. And to give her my tub. Hi, Oreo. This was your babies. Look at those babies. So she had these two. Yeah. And then she just had another one. So right now she has three babies. I'll have to go get you a bowl of water. You know, we put her some food. You want a bowl of water? Huh? You're probably thirsty. Yeah, look at those babies. Oh, you got blood all over you. Definitely need a bath. Yeah, you're such a good mama. Yeah, you're such a good mama. Yeah. Look at that pretty girl. You're such a good mama. I'll go get you a bowl of water, okay? Let me cover her back up. Yeah, she has three now. Mom asked me, she's like, when did the package get there? When's the package get there? The, the, the surprise thing you're talking about. I was like, oh, this morning. She thinks it's a package. To add more to her collection of cats. <laughs> Hopefully these ones, we can let her train and everything and get them out. I'm gonna get her a bowl of water because These she's probably... These fools, some of them know how to use loader box, some don't, but I'm still gonna try to see if I can post them and get them homes. Kind of, kind of like, shoo shoo. Love you, love you guys, but they need a home somewhere that they can be loved. If anybody lives around this area and you want a free we kitten... we said that so many times and no Free kittens! <laughs> well, they're more like teenage kittens, starting to be teenage kittens. That's, that's the hardest part about it, that they're starting to become like teenagers or yeah. adults that um, they're going to be hard to get rid of. Here, Oreo. You want some water? Yeah, there's you some water. You're okay. Yeah, you're okay. There's you some water and some food. Yeah, it's you some water and some food. I believe that Kathy's getting ready right now. They'll be here soon, but we told her that she has a surprise and she thinks it's a package. Well, she's in for a huge package because she now has new kittens. So we're going to get her reaction when she gets here. Another surprise for her. So I... <laughs> That's the turkey. Uh-huh. Do you know what to do? Mm-hmm. You can get but it's frozen still. Oh, it's still frozen? My mom said we should have took this out before Friday. And she's like, well, that's what I told you to go ahead and start cooking it. And I'm like, yeah, but you have to get this sort of thing out. Look what Oreo did to my arm, because where she keeps biting me, and where I guess she's like happy, but she like bites too hard. She's excited to show me her babies, but she goes like love bites, but. It's gonna be easy. She's gotta, she's gotta chip a dip. I know. <sighs> I'm sort of running under some hot water, and I'm like, here, let me move my phone. What are y'all growling about? Y'all have enough food for everyone. And Spice is drinking water. She's not even near you, Grace. See, Grace is going to be the next one to be having babies. So if Oreo's having her babies now, I say probably by next week, she's going to be the next one. Are you grouchy? Mm -hmm. What? What? Jen says she's gonna be become vegan. Yeah, she's some gross. That's what its neck was. That's where its neck was? Mm hmm Ew. That's the breast. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'm 
I don't see. And there's supposed to be like a wishing bone or something. That's when you carve it and stuff. But mom said that she wasn't sure if they put like the other insides and the insides. I'm so grossed out. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll eat. Anyways, mom said that they were uh, brushing her teeth and then headed here. Oh, I'm so grossed out. Go ahead and get the bathroom first. Kathy made it here and Bill's slowly coming in. He hates that great daughter outside. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Surprise, you're a grandmother of three. Oh, you had three this time? I think she's trying to have another one. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep, she's having one. So she's going to have four. That one's a gray one, a black and white one, and it looks like a black and white one. Hi. Oh my gosh. Why is she so bloody? I don't know. Maybe the placentas. You okay? Oh, now you're going to love on me. Oh, okay. Yeah, you did a good job. She was like that earlier this morning. She had him in the clock at first. She's already had her fourth one. It's her fourth one there? Yeah. See it? Oh. Oh. So she just she... had one. Yeah, it's the placenta coming out. There's one, two, three, four. So you have four babies. Yeah, it's just the placenta coming out. I can't watch it, though. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you, Maria. I can't. What are you doing, Smokey? I'm a pretty girl. What are you doing, pretty girl? Switch to my other tripod. I think that my camera is too heavy for it to be sticking out like it was. So I might just have to use that one for like a regular tripod, but I kind of like it this way. I'll just trade and take turns with different tripods. What, Mama? Huh? What are you doing when you're going to have your babies? Huh? When you're going to have your babies? Hi, Shy. Come on, Shy. Why? My pretty boy. Huh? Why is he shy? Well, I can see the camera. We're going to end up putting one of the other cameras right here. So that way it's looking directly at the cars. And then we have one of the other cameras out here looking at the back. And it's sitting in our window, but it's facing the back porch. So that way we can see all around this area. So the only one we haven't put up yet is the one that goes back here. A little magic potion pop. What would you use it for? Coffee. Until it rains again. While we're at the store, can we get everything a coffee creamer? Yeah, that's what I was hoping that we could get. Okay. No, you cannot have it. it. Makes you too good. I've been dying without coffee. Can you drink my coffee? I can, but Jen wants coffee too, so. Oh, they're cutting all those trees. I think it's because they're, they brought them from over here too. Because we think that the trees have fell into that sewer thing. The roots dug into them. Oh. And it's causing problems with that sewer thing back there. Yeah, the roots will cause uh, havoc with septic tanks and all yeah. that. They just push right on through concrete. Stop in here at Food Fair to grab a couple of things. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is awesome. We need to get one of those. Can we get that, Jen, as a car? Sure. A side by side? I'll be fine with it. Look at this sweet ride. That is cool. I want one of these. Can you imagine driving one of these around? It's a Maverick. Oh, that is so sick. I love it. Oh, I can't go in. It says no pets allowed. <laughs> so we mostly just got some crushed pineapples. Got this, the new flavored Mountain Dew, the Baja Laguna, because I really like this one. That and was the best we got one. some coffee creamer. Yeah, because uh, I need coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there he goes. Oh, that would be so fun to ride. It would. I'm gonna say it. Let's see what Kathy thinks. It's good. It tastes like passion fruit to me. What to me, it? it tastes like pina colada. He says coconut. I didn't taste coconut, but I tasted it was good. That might do like a drink. Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh. As you guys know, Oreo had her babies. She had four. Four. There might be five, but we don't know. As you guys know, like she, she had like, how would you call it? A prolapsed uterus. A prolapsed uterus. We looked online because we didn't know what it was at first. We thought it was just another another baby like hanging out of her. We thought it was a placenta. I looked on Google and it turns out that's what it is. Is a her stuff is out it's a pro sideward. Yeah, you can Google it. Google it because I'm not explaining it. <laughs> it's really gross. But first, we're gonna go pick up Kathy. 
and we're going to take her over to the vet. We're bringing one of their babies because the vet told us to bring one of the babies, so he's going to show us how to feed the babies until when Grace ends up having her babies, we can see if Grace will adopt these babies of Oreos. I know it's sad, but it's the only option I have right now. I'm sorry, it's the only, it's the only option I have right now, so if I leave it, she can die. I don't, like this is what I was talking about with Milo. If I knew it, if it was worse than what it was with Milo, no problem signing him over and be like, help. I can't get no nonprofit organization to reach out to me. I, I can't wait much longer. She's trying to contract, which I'm afraid that there might be another baby in there. Yeah, and they said online that if she ends up having another baby and she's having contractions while having that, it can actually make things worse. I'd rather for her to go get help. I know we'll be losing Oreo, but at least she'll be getting better and she could go to a good home. That's what I need to do with the rest of it, but it's really hard just to sign over without something actually happening. A vet won't just take the cats. Yeah, so if you guys are around this area and you know any local places that take cats, because we need the inside cats, the ones that were babies, Spice and Patricia. Patricia and all of them. We need to find them homes. Now that they're going to be having more babies. They literally was just born today. So as soon as they're old enough though, and start eating the soft food and hard food, I'm going to find them homes. And I'm, gonna, I'm trying my hardest right now to find the other ones that we do have that are, are old enough. I'm trying really hard to find them homes. Yeah. Like, it's hard when you, when you don't have no, like cats are, they're like, they, populate so fast. Yeah, constantly multiply, multiply. And most of the cats that we have as pets actually came from one of the outside cats. We Oreo. found Oreo. We found Oreo because the, she, there was a cat in the building of Bill's screaming because there was, uh, I guess, animals after her or other cats after her. And I was like, there's a cat who's screaming. I'm pretty sure Grace was found. Yeah, Ori was just a little tiny baby. And I'm pretty sure I have that in a vlog Yeah, I'm somewhere. pretty sure you do because mom had her. But almost every cat that we have have came from the outside yeah and we just trained them to be inside but then they had babies and i know that everybody's like well you should have got them fixed well we planned on it it's just getting the money it. to well, do it no, no we had the money that's the thing with oreo and grace we literally was going that month we were literally going to get them fixed but uh they ended up showing that they were pregnant and you can't fix the cat while they're pregnant yeah so we were gonna wait till after they had their babies but we didn't think she would do this because wouldn't this be her third litter of kittens? I think so. I, this is the first time I ever seen anything happen to this. Yeah, like, like a cat. Shane wanted to record it at first, and I got a little attitude -y, and I was like, please don't record this. Like, I need to see what's going on first, and then you can. My first immediate re reaction was like, something's wrong. Well, she done it with all four of them. She ate yeah. the placenta, which is, I can't, the gross, can't yeah, think about it. I've watched gross. it too many times. It's disturbing, but, but you know, it's nature. The vet said that he's going to teach us how to take care of the little kittens. And hopefully until Grace has her babies, we can like sneak the babies in with Grace and see if Grace would adopt Grace, them. Grace is the only other female except for the new babies, but I'm trying to find the new babies like homes because they're old enough. This will be Oreo's second time, their second or third time having babies. But Oreo and the quit taking care of her babies and that's why Grace one. was taking care yeah, of them. Yeah, she only had one which was Olam and she stopped taking care of it. So Grace adopted o Olam. Oreo had one last year and this is her third. Well, hopefully Grace doesn't have a lot of kittens and she doesn't notice that, you know, there's like four, four more. more being added to her. I've helped kittens before. I can help them pee. I can help them poop. It's really weird process, but I mean, I, can, I've, I have the confidence that I can keep these kittens alive. You'll just have to show me how to do it. That's my only issue is that when they're eating, I'm afraid that they would take too much and I would make them choke or something. That's just like a newborn. Like if I had a newborn baby, like a human newborn baby, that's what I would be afraid of, of them choking or how do you know when they're hungry or when you're supposed to feed them? Like that's my issue. Well, listen, but, with a human being, 911 and pediatrics is like the best, the best things, but you can't constantly call 911 because you're freaking yeah. out. Yeah. I think I probably would go to- It's more like natural instinct. I think I would probably go to like baby classes of how to take care of your baby. I mean, you, they do that. You take, uh, I don't remember what it's called. It's a class that you take while you're pregnant and shows you how to swaddle them, shows you how to feed them, how to change a diaper. I know all of it because uh, in uh, high school, I took that health class. It wasn't a health class. It was like the off brand of home ec or something. Yeah. And I got to take home that baby doll. 
I took it home twice. The first time was I had to. The second time I got a 100A on the first time. The second time was just for fun because I liked doing it. Because I was like, oh, and which is so, so horrible that you do that to high schoolers because like when I was high school, I was like, oh my gosh, I want a baby. And like I took it home again because of the fact I wanted to take care of the baby. Maybe it's a good thing for, you know, high schoolers to have that because yeah, they can realize if they really do want a baby or if they're like, oh, I want a baby. And then they take that home and they're like, OK, no, I don't want a baby. Well, see, I've never been diagnosed with it because no one will like check my things. But I, I don't want to say like I have PCOS, but then I had cis boyfriends. I've never got pregnant. Yeah. I have a very, very bad hormonal imbalance. I, I mean, I want kids. I don't want kids right this second. I called everyone I could call. I have done everything I can. And like I said, Milo is completely fine, by the way. Yeah, he's outside running around. He came in the house last night. I, I keep forgetting to record it, but I didn't vlog yesterday. But he jumped like up on the couch have. and he was completely fine. He jumped down off the couch. He jumped on the couch. And now he's outside running around I somewhere. I think it was just that slash yeah. in, his, in his thigh. So Milo's okay. Now we get one cat that's better and this happens to Oreo. And it makes me sad because I really like Oreo, but I'd rather get her help than seeing her in pain and possibly could pass away from this. So if we could possibly avoid of her passing away or anything like this and getting her help and getting her another person that would take care of her and love her. I didn't even bring my baby. I have to show you guys the other babies once we get home. Oh, look at this little face. Look, it's face. like a whole nother little Oreo. Look at your baby. Well, Boots, more likely. Another Boots and Shy. Yeah, Jojo baby. I'm sorry. Yeah. I feel terrible, but I know getting her help. Because, like, I read online, like, all they do is they do surgery. But a lot of the time, I'm going to have to sign her over. Because I, this time, I guess, where it's Sunday, Instead of a, what did I say the last time when I called for Milo? They wanted I think it was 150. No, 105. Oh, 100, wasn't it? Yeah, 105. Because it was like, like 105 dollars. This time they wanted me 160 dollars, almost 200 dollars. Oh my god. And that's with the 160 was up front, and then whatever the surgery costed was, whatever the surgery was going to cost afterwards. The 160 dollars was up front, and then that's not including the surgery, the recovery, the medication. And I'm like, are you? Are you absolutely kidding me right now? The first lady I talked to, she told me, he, he apologized though, because she's just been there about a week. And I was like, <laughs> okay, because I'm like, I don't want to bring her over there for her death sentence, you know? Like, if it's something you can fix. Yeah. And he told me that euthanization is the last resort. If they absolutely cannot 100% fix her and help her, then they will. But I told him, I do not want to know. And I'm gonna tell these nurses over here when I first walk in, I'm gonna be like, I do not want to know, okay? I, I don't, I do not wanna know. I want to think in my head that she's getting help because once I sign her over, if someone there, because he said if nine times out of 10, someone there will adopt her, but they cannot tell me and they cannot tell me anything about it after I sign her over. Yeah, that's the thing that sucks, so. And I'm like, that that's, that's fine. Like, I wanna think in my head that she has a happy home. She's a lovely, lovely, wonderful, sweet cat. I can't help her. I can't help her. Yeah. I love her and I can afford to feed her. I can't afford to help her. Yeah, but we didn't expect this to happen. I've never had one cat that's had kittens has done this. Yeah, I've never seen a cat do that. And I've been around cats all my life. I never even seen like rats or other animals do that, but apparently this can happen to humans too. So I guess it's a really rare thing, possibly. I guess. Oh, she's had three other litters. That's why it's like the second time I'm be seeing it. That's why I was like, let me just see if it is a placenta. It doesn't look right to me. I just immediately knew that it didn't look right. It looked off, and that's why I was like, okay, I've I gotta start calling places and seeing what I can do. It's Sunday, so everywhere is closed yeah. besides this one place that wants 160 dollars and that's just not that's up front like if they would let us do payment plans even like when taking them there we could be both for it because look, we don't care to pay payment like a payment every they month said after we can after we pay the 160 up front we can do the uh, as long as the vet's okay with it we can do the payment plan for the surgery and medication and everything after care plan 
but the $160 you can't. And I'm like, listen, I have stuff, I, like. Yeah, we have to get the house fixed, especially with that whole electrical thing, because we can't just keep using extension cords constantly, because and I feel bad eventually it's, it's that like, can catch, like, catch on fire. I just feel bad because it's like, it's like I'm choosing myself, I'm being selfish. I feel, I feel fucking terrible because I feel like I'm being, oh shit, they're at loops, not here. I was thinking Jay's. Yeah, it does make us feel like we're like, selfish. Like, it makes me feel selfish. If anybody else was in this situation, like, you, your safety at your home is important, too, because... Because, listen, if we don't have a home, they don't have a home. Yeah, and incension cords get so hot, and we have everything plugged up to incension cords. If it gets too hot, it can cause a fire. We're living in a trailer. It doesn't take long for a trailer to just go up like that in flames. That's what with the whole fact that we're trying to get the insulation that's in there out of there yeah. and put new insulation that isn't as flammable as what's in there now. Because when this trailer was made, it was cheaply made. They, they are all cheaply made. But that's what me and mom has been talking about is trying to redo the whole trailer little by little, but redo it all. Pull out the old insulation, put it new, like where it doesn't burn as fast insulation yeah. in. It just sucks that it seems like no matter what, there's always something that goes on. And no matter what, it feels like I'm always the bad guy. Picking up Kathy now. Oh, oh. fuck. Here's better. This is the Tri-State Animal ER over here in Canova. I think it's a pretty girl. Just made it in here. Yeah. Look at your baby. Yeah, you got two babies. They're okay. I know, it's scary. Yeah, it's scary. I'm gonna get you help. Yeah, you're a pretty girl. Feel so bad. Yeah. You're okay. Oh, you want belly rub. Yeah, you want a belly rub. Yeah, it's a pretty girl. What are you doing? Oh, it's like a tigger. Hi. Oh, she did a... This one's like another Patricia. Hi. And another Oreo. Did you oh. just hiss? He did. Hi. Look at your babies. We're gonna save you guys. <laughs> He's hissing. I'm gonna save you guys and we're gonna get you homes, okay? Yeah. So we just got done feeding and helping them use the bathroom. We have a heating mat underneath this towel so that way it'll help keep them warm. We've had it for years. Who knows if it'll actually still work, but it says you can decorate 12 eggs, but I think that we can just do like two eggs each, so four eggs, and we're going to see if this will work. I'm going to get the eggs, put them on stove right now, and boil them. But we just had turkey, ham, mashed potatoes, baked beans. It was pretty good, and now I just got to put the eggs on. We're going to try to do this unicorn collar whip. So I got the four eggs, and now I was just trying to figure out how we do this. <laughs> Okay, this is the whip powder. Whip powder. You're supposed to... What? You're supposed to use a, a, a mixer. Ew! <laughs> Why does it smell like that? I have no idea. It smells like old chocolate mixed with dirty socks. I have no idea why it smells like that. Ew. It smells... <laughs> Do you want these gloves? Do you want those gloves? I can use those ones. Okay. It smells like somebody just like let Sorry. off a stink bomb. Add one third cup of room temperature water. So you're supposed to use a mixer. We don't have a mixer yet. We're just gonna have to mix it with our hands. Well, I'm gonna mix it with this. So I pour it. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna work. If not, we're just gonna take the dye. Have, oh my god. You have no idea how bad this smells. You can mix it. I'm the stir. The, what do you call it? The Ew, sewage? Don't it. The sewage plant? I don't know if it's gonna work. Why? It's, we've had this for years. 2021. We've had this since 2021. 
We got it. I don't even know where we got it from. And we were going to do it for a video for Easter and we just never did it. And now, three years later, we're decided to do it. <laughs> well, we could have waited till tomorrow and got discounted ones. Because it's not foaming. Well, if it doesn't work, then we can just wait until sometime. Maybe get some more tomorrow or something. Oh my God. Maybe that's why it smells so bad. It smells like they put rotten eggs in here and just left it. We can still do it just with the dye. Yeah, that's definitely not funny. We use the electric mixer with egg beaters. Oh my god, does it have eggs in here? What? It says it with egg beaters. Is that why it smells so bad? I honestly don't know. We can still dye it. Oh, look, it's trying to. Ew, it's, it's like a nasty color. This is what it's looking like. It even looks like sewage water. Ew. Let it like settle. I think it's trying to f turn to foam. When decorating eggs turns into a fail. <laughs> oh god, this thing's so bad. Yeah, it really smells. It smells horrible. Do you still have any shaving cream left? Yeah. Get at that. I think I might have an idea that works. This just, this reeks like unbelievably the stench that's coming from it. Like, look, <laughs> look at it. Look at what it's doing. Ew. I would not even put this in my mixer if I had a mixer. Yeah, there, there's no ew. Way. You would have to go buy a whole new mixer. Okay. Oh my god. I put this out of the sink and rinse it. Just, oh my god, just the whole thing. Oh my god, okay. Take a big whiff. No, I've already smutted it off. <laughs> it's gonna make me gag. about an inch. At least this smells better. Imagine if somebody thought that was whipped cream and went to eat it. So are you putting the prank on this video as well? No, I was going to put it in tomorrow's vlog, but I'm pretty sure we'd be already doing the prank by the time this video goes up. I was just going to toss it, sorry. I thought you were going to slap me with it. No, I was going to toss them into the sink. Okay, get your glove back on. We have a really funny prank happening tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this at all. Why? It's dried up. One of the red isn't. Red, maybe the green might be good. Maybe I can mix it with some shaving cream. So they're going to see it, this on April Fool's. Probably by the time you're watching this, the prank probably has already happened. Yeah, I might gonna upload it to my uh, TikTok and my YouTube shorts and possibly Facebook. So if you are not following me there, make sure you go follow me. I'll put her links down below. Because it's probably already posted. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you because my mom's not here no more. I have convinced my mom that I'm making peanut butter eggs for like Easter, since Easter's already over though, okay? So I don't think she has a clue. No, she actually thinks that we're making peanut butter eggs. Which, I have a problem. I'm gonna try my hardest to find some tomorrow while we're out before she gets here. I don't have any others. So my whole prank idea, I think it was you and your grandma who told me first. Mm -hmm. So it was Shane and his grandma who told me first that we should get a hard boiled egg and cover it in chocolate and have my mom bite it. Well, I was like, I do a whole hard boiled egg when we could do a raw egg. And when she bites into it, because it's going to be hard and she's going to expect it, I was like, you have to take a bite and you have to bite down hard because I, I messed them up. She has no clue what is happening. She has sent me like three recipes of peanut butter <laughs> eggs. <laughs> she has no clue what is about to happen. And so I'm going to tell her that I think I messed them up. And but I'm going to have a real like marshmallow egg. And I'm going to be like, they're, they're hard. I don't understand. And I'm going to have her tap it. And I'll show you guys in this video what it looks like. Because the prank's already going to happen. It's going to be hilarious. I hope so. But you guys got to watch tomorrow's vlog. She's going to kill me. This. I'm going to... I'm R.I.P. Jen. It's kind of like food coloring. If I had food coloring, we would use food coloring. I don't have any. Didn't really have a lot in that. Three fucking years old. 
If we were gonna do it, we should have done it three years ago. We kept forgetting about it. I think this one's dried. I'll try to get some out of there. Kick. <laughs> it's like a freaking crayon. It looks like icing. So the only color that's really gonna work is the red. This is such a fail. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to cut up in that blue and see if we can get the blue out. Oh. This one feels like a rock hard. So open it up and see if we can stick some. I'll use my pinky. See if I can stick this in there and then squish it around. You know what I mean? Kind of lube it up. Kind of cut down the side of it. It's dry. And just open it. I don't have to cut all the way down. <laughs> it smells like paint. Like dried up paint. It actually smells good though. I don't think it works. Maybe we should have checked this before we boiled the eggs. Yeah, probably. I mean, that probably would have been small. I didn't think it was three years old though. I mean, I knew it was old, but I didn't think it would. My gloves are dying. I didn't think it would do anything because like, it's just decorating stuff. Well, it's coloring, it's food coloring. It's food dye, it goes bad. I mean, do you want to swirl an egg in the red? Just take one egg and swirl it in the red. At least you can you try do one. It. So it's plain white, so. I don't know if it's going to work. When we're out tomorrow, we'll see if they have some discounted egg dyeing kits. And we'll do it again. There you go. There's your piece of cardboard. You want to set it on there? You got a pink egg. And you got a splash of green in there. There. Cardboard. Well, you got green on yours, so maybe try one and see oh, what. I hand me one. I'm going to try and see if it will come off. Well, right, some blue, blue on there, too. Get some blue on your glove. Hey. Well, maybe it's not a fill after all. Maybe some of this red. Well, ah! I'm touch my shirt. Well, this one's turned kind of turned purple. Black? <laughs> when it turns the color of your soul. <laughs> my egg really knows me. I'm gonna keep this glitter. I'm not using this glitter. That's not gonna work. Why don't you just leave it on here? That's what it's for. This is what our eggs look like. Jen has a black one and there's a pink one and this one's half blue and half purple. And we'll rinse them off in a minute. I was like, what's the point in putting them on there? I don't know. Your brain sometimes. Statism for me. <laughs> yeah. How long are you supposed to wait? I don't know. Probably like five minutes. My head hurts. I'm so freaking... Oh, I've had like three breakdowns today. I'm sorry. It's okay. This is not a good gin head day. And then I come home and I get pooped on by kittens. <laughs> you know. Isn't the glue like you're supposed to pour on the eggs and then you pour the glitter? Mm-hmm. Not even just one kitten pooped on me. Two kittens pooped on me. I don't mind, because like I used to feed kittens all the time, but it was just like the whole thing of, well, he's pooping, and it's like, oh, bro, I wasn't even ready for you to feed or poop yet. I think I changed my mind on having four kids. You don't want four kids? Two, at the max. At the max. Jen's going to rinse them off now. Okay, first egg. So this is one, this is a pink one. Oh cool, they came out like stripes in a way. I did. Look, it's Easter eggs. We made Easter this eggs. This one's kind of speckled, I like it. Yeah? Alright, uh, yeah. I can't wait for this freaking prank to happen. It's going to be so funny. You can bite into a hard egg, right? I don't know. Should I test it? I don't know, I never bit a raw egg. Am I going to egg fools myself? I mean, I know they have a... 
How hard did you have to bite? I mean, not that hard. <laughs> not that hard. It's so, like taking an actual, like... So you think it'll work? I think it'll work. Okay. Oh my god, work. I can't wait. So if you guys want to see this prank, make sure to watch tomorrow's vlog. And make sure to watch Jen's TikTok and everything. Everything will be down below in the description. So Jim wants me to try it to get a second opinion. So yeah, you don't have to bite that hard. I didn't think you had to bite hard. Yeah, I barely put it like. Yeah, you took a bite. You know, like if you were gonna take a bite out of something, right? Yeah. I mean, if you didn't know, that looks like a chocolate egg. Yeah, it does. Like a homemade chocolate egg. Yeah. I think if I set it on aluminum foil for it to dry, I think it would be all right, right? Should be. Oh my foil. God, this is going to be so funny. Yeah, because it looks like it's already trying to harden. But I want to do something to it. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> She's going to hate us. She gets chocolate out of it. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Make sure to turn my post notifications on so you never miss a new video. And make sure to stay positive and never give up. I will see you guys tomorrow.